Hi everyone, we are going to be talking about single points of failure now and in a computing context, single points of failure are those points where the entire system can crash in case that point crashes. So for example, let us say you have a database and you have a set of servers. If the database crashes, then the entire system crashes. Okay, and single points of failure is, is not a term that computer science has come up with. Uh, it's there since a very long time. If you think about humanity in general, uh, we as a service will die out if there's a big enough asteroid which hits Earth. So if Earth is gone, humanity is out. That's a single point of failure for us. If you think about any story which has a single point of failure, then uh, someone is too attached to that character and you cannot afford to kill that character. So in a system design interview, Single points of failure are an advanced topic. If you have lots of services and you have defined how they're going to interact with each other, you have made sure that they're meeting all the requirements, that's when the interviewer will be interested in testing the resiliency of your architecture. So a single point of failure means your architecture is not resilient, which means that you have multiple components connected to one point, and if this point crashes, then your system crashes. The obvious and easiest way to mitigate this is to add another node. So you had service one, maybe it was a profile server. It used to serve profiles, common enough so that everyone is connected to it. What you do is you add another profile server, which does the same thing. And there's two ways to actually set this up. One is as a backup. In case this crashes, you have this node two working. But for a service, really, this is not so useful because what's it going to contain if no one is connected to it? On the other hand, if this was a database, so let's say there's a copy of the database and every change in this database is mirrored onto this database, then this is a backup of the data. This makes sense. Backup services don't make much sense. Because there's a, there's a copy of all the data, you can say that this database is more resilient than earlier. For it to fail now, this database has to fail, switching over to this one, and then this has to also fail. So the probability of that, if if one failing was p, then the probability has suddenly become p square, which is much, much smaller. Now let's try to think of a solution in this general diagram. If the client fails, that's just one client and you don't care, okay, in general. As for the server, if this node fails, then our entire service fails. So to take care of that, you can add another node, node 2. And that's the first way of getting rid of single points of failure, that is more nodes. You can word it better, but sends the point across anywhere. How about this database? In case the database crashes, of course, we know that it fails. So it's going to have another database, a replica, which is a master slave architecture. All right. Some of these slaves might be read slaves. You can read from them. Um, some of them may not be. In fact, maybe you want perfect consistency, so that's fine. Some sort of a load balancer to tell you where to send these requests. The load balancer itself is a single point of failure. So you need multiple load balancers. Because of this, the client may not know which load balancer to connect to. So we have to push the client back over here to the DNS. Okay. And the client is going to connect to the DNS. It needs to have multiple IP addresses resolving for the same host. So that is, let's say you want, you hit facebook.com on your browser. Any one of these IP addresses is okay if you want to connect to facebook.com. And so those are the IP addresses of the load balancers. Whenever you send a request, it comes over here. To call it a load balancer only would be a little uh, misleading. So it's actually a gateway, which is having the load balancing mechanism in it. After this, is there any other chance that you might have uh, failures? Yes. So uh, like we talked about humanity and earth, the entire system, if it is located in one place, will possibly fail if there's a disaster. So in that case, what you do look for is regions and multiple regions. This, of course, is mainly after you've taken care of uh, the entire process of getting rid of single points of failure through DNS, through load balancers, through nodes. Uh, sometimes when you are looking for a, a distributed sort of read and write in the database, you're looking for some sort of coordinator over here and you get rid of the single point of failure for the coordinator in a very similar way as you got rid of the load balancer. I think that gives us a pretty good understanding of what single points of failure are. 
just throw more money at the problem and not just that of course uh, the person who's going to be coordinating or load balancing these these nodes needs to also become resilient so it cannot be a single point of failure and you just keep propagating this all the way till you have made an entire pipeline of distributed system netflix does this really well what they do is they have something called chaos monkey and they, they also have other stuff apart from chaos monkey which just randomly goes on production and takes down one node just to make sure that your system is really resilient it's really as distributed as you call it so that's something that we can all learn from but for a system design interview well it's easier saying uh, stuff in a system design interview so all you need to do basically is just talk about master slave which is replication you can throw more nodes which is more money i don't know where you're going to get it uh, and you're going to have multiple regions if there's a disaster i keep thinking about taking a topic from start to finish uh, but whenever i'm thinking about a solution for a system these kind of topics come up which are very important so you know i i'm unable to move forward i really don't know whether i should pick up these smaller topics or actually talk about an entire system but they'll involve these things so let's see i hope i will be able to start with uh, a system hopefully tinder <laughs> which is next and if you if you want a notification for that or whatever it is that i'm doing hit the subscribe button i'll see you next time